A spokesman for the CDC says that prediabetes is a serious health threat. You can find out if you're at risk with a simple test. It's called the one minute risk test. Questions such as does anyone in your family have diabetes? It's the CDC diabetes. launched a public service message to get the word out. You may not even know you have it, but you can escape. Take the one minute prediabetes risk test to know where you stand. I took the test and where I stand doesn't look very good. So I'm starting out my day depressed. I took your uh, one minute test and I scored a seven. N no need to be depressed. You're now you're empowered. Dr. Christopher Holliday heads the Diabetes Translation Division at the CDC. He urges everyone to visit the website doihaveprediabetes.org and take the one minute risk test. Prediabetes means that your blood sugar is higher than normal, but not high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. It's a very serious condition that puts you at risk for other serious health conditions it's like type 2 diabetes or heart attack and stroke. The good news is you don't have to fight prediabetes alone. The one minute risk test helps you to find a lifestyle coach who will work with you for an entire year. How do I give up something I love? Well, I think the important distinction is that you don't have to give anything up. And again, Alex Gautis, a Cone Health registered dietitian, tells me that I don't have to quit eating my favorite food, jasmine rice. She suggests a way to improve my diet. So what I would recommend is maybe cooking it in chicken broth and maybe even mixing white and brown. The dietitian says you want a long-term, sustainable plan to help lower the threat of diabetes. The first step is up to you. Do I have prediabetes.org? Take a simple one minute risk test as you did and just know where you stand. And that awareness is really the first step toward a, a long and healthy life. The CDC spokesman says the lifestyle coach is covered under commercial insurance as well as Medicare and Medicaid. And remember, one in three people have prediabetes and most don't know it. In Greensboro, Bill O'Neill, WXII, 12 News.